You know, in, in light of what has happened, I'm going to change what I was going to preach about, and I want to revisit uh, some ideas that we talked about maybe six months ago or so, which I'm sure you all remember, um, <laughs> but about faith. You know, we, we hear about tragedies, we hear about things, and we always say, well, we have this faith. And we know that Hebrews chapter 11, if you can put that Scripture up this morning, it says, um, the fundamental fact of existence is that this trust in God, this faith, is the firm foundation under everything that makes life worth living. It's our handle on what we can't see. And sometimes we have no answers, we have nowhere to turn except to say that we have a God. So I want to talk about what does it mean to have faith and understand that faith is a response to God's grace, that we are loved, and that God is with us. But there's a couple things, you know, people mean well and they say things and, and they want to try to encourage people, but, but I think there's a couple things, and, and if you remember from when we talked about this before, that there's a couple things that faith is not. And then I want to talk about what I think the true meaning of faith is and how we can trust in God. But it says, faith is not just an agreement um, with a certain belief system. Or faith is not just statements about the nature of God. You know, agreeing with what the Christian faith stands for is not the same as having faith. I can say, well, I agree that God is this, or I can agree that the Bible does that, but if nothing in my life resembles this faith, or I don't live it out, that really means nothing other than, okay, I agree with some people. So faith is not about all of these statements that we make. Faith is also not this blind hope that God will make our lives easy. You know, a lot of people think, I'm going to pray, and God's going to save me. Or if we just pray harder, tragedy will not come to us. Or if I just had enough faith, somehow God will relieve me from this. But it is not this hope that God will make our lives easy or God will fix all of the problems we we face. Faith does not protect us from illness, accident, stress, or even death sometimes. So if faith is not all of that, what, what is faith? Well, I kept thinking about a simple word that means trust. That somehow, in the midst of what we deal with, somehow in the midst of the pain and the tears and the uncertainty and the confusion, we have a trust that says, God is God. You know, we say all of the time, God is good. And all the time. You know, and sometimes we think we play lip service to that. But we have this faith that says no matter what we are facing, God is good. I don't know how it will work out. I don't know how all the details will smooth themselves out. I don't know how long the pain will linger. But somehow we know that God is good. And somehow God will show up in these situations. It is tough and it is hard. But we know that God is here. Christ's ministry in the Bible. All of the times where Christ was healing people in the Bible, these people had a trust that said, somehow, I'm going to believe that Christ is who He says He is. I'm going to believe that God is who God says God is. And if I can just come to Christ, if I can just follow, if I can just believe, I know that God will show up. And I always think about the woman who was bleeding constantly. And all she did was say, I just have to go and touch the hem of Christ. I just have to get to Christ. I have this trust. I don't know how it's going to work out. I don't know all of the details. All I know is that I have to believe and I have to trust and I am going to go. And if you think about all of these times Jesus healed in the Bible, Jesus always said sometimes, He says, your faith has made you whole. Your trust has has healed you, right? So it was always inside of them. They knew we just have to relax and let God be God, which is horribly hard, which is horribly hard sometimes when life throws everything they have at us and we don't know where to even lift our head, but we know that God is there and that we are trust. We say that we can have faith and trust in God even if we don't feel God at that moment even in the absence of healing, we can say we can have faith. 
and we say God is faithful and can be trusted, and we trust not only when things are good, but also when they are bad. A lot of times our faith comes out of darkness. A lot of times our faith isn't really when it's, things are going well, it's when we meet God in the darkness of life. And I, I think I, I remember quoting Barbara Brown Taylor, who has written a book on darkness. And she says in there, she says, most of the time we meet God in the dark. And she says, and we meet God in the dark because even though we are blind, we know God is there. Even though we are blind, we continue to reach out and trust that somehow God is there with us. So we don't have to see. You know, we read the message version this morning. You know, the traditional version of that verse says that faith is the absence of what we can see, right? That we can't see what is going on, but we know that God will be there with us. So trust, faith, is knowing that we are not alone, knowing that no matter where we go, what we are going through, the pain that we have, God is walking with us. That we can say God is good even when it is dark and it is hurting. And there's a story by Leonard Sweet. And I'm going to read that this morning. It's a paragraph if you'll indulge me. And, and again, some of you may recognize this story. But it's a story about people who prayed and had a faith in God. And it said, A husband and wife were out driving in a snowstorm, slid off the road into a ditch, and a blizzard was coming, so they decided to sit in the car. As they waited and hoped and prayed for help to come, the wife decided to write a diary to keep all of what was going on. And she wrote, We began to understand that we are on a road that is not maintained in the winter. We have no idea what is ahead. We are completely in God's hands. And then she writes, What better place to be? Then they started to sing hymns. They prayed. They quoted Bible verses to themselves and still nobody came. One of the last entries into the diary was this. My husband just died. It was so peaceful, I didn't even know he left. Goodbye, and I love you. And then she wrote, thank you, Lord. And the story does not end well. They found both the husband and wife dead in the car. Now, why do I share a story like that? Because what I think it means is that faith does not depend on happy endings. Bad things happen. Tragedy happens. And there's nothing I can do to make it better. There's no cliche sayings to say, okay, it's all going to be good. It sucks. It sucks. But we have this faith that says God right now shows up. That it doesn't matter on the happy endings. It doesn't matter on us being rescued in time. It is a trust that somehow God will pick us up and comfort us in our time of need. It is a trust that says somehow people will gather around us when we don't think we can continue to walk and support us and be there for us. It is something as simple as cleaning out a closet and bringing some clothes for a family that needs them. It's something as simple as offering prayer. It is something as simple as just saying, I don't know how this will work out, but we are here, and God is here, and we walk with us. You know, I don't have answers. And I kept thinking, you know, as a pastor, you're supposed to say all of these things. And I'm sure other pastors can say things, but I, I have nothing to say. You know, we, 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 we go through life and the wind gets knocked out of us. But all I say, all I can do is say, you know, I may not have an answer, but I know God is here. I may not know why things happen, but I know now God is walking with us. I don't know how healing will come, but I guarantee you it will come in some way or form. And, and, and I thought the sermon was going to be longer this morning, but it's not. Because I don't really think there's much else you can say other than we trust. And we have a God that says God will show up. So as Ray suffers, and, and, and deals with this loss. He's got this faith that says, somehow, God is with me. God is here. When tragedy meets all of us, and it does, and it will, we have a faith that says, somehow, God is here. 
You know, we, we talked about, we laugh at the children's story about how God is our coach. But you know, one of the things God does is God encourages us to keep going. And God whispers in our ear and says, this is not the end. And God whispers and says, you are stronger than this and you can make it. And there are people here walking with you. And I am here. You know, Amanda's going to come and sing It Is Well With My Soul, which is not the song we are going to sing. But to me, there is no better song, and I know it's a song that we all know, and most of you here know the story of that song, about how tragedy met the author of that song, and he was so overwhelmed by it, but he still had this faith that said, somehow, God is here. Even when I am over the place where my entire family died, I can still say it as well with my soul. So, I know I haven't talked long, but I want these words to the hymn to be the sermon. I want us to stand and I want us to think of these words, not only for what our brothers are going through at this moment, but for whatever we may face in our life, so that we can know that all I have to do is say, Lord, I need you. To have this faith that says God is good. That no matter what is caving in around me, I can say it is well with my soul. Because that's the other powerful thing about faith. We don't need words. We don't need people to tell us things we may already know or not know. We just need the presence of God to come wrap those arms around us and say, I am here. So let us stand this morning. And let us think of these words and let these words speak to our hearts this morning.